Hey y'all, and welcome to my channel, Fire Wife Savings Life. I am a stay-at-home mom that homeschools, and my husband works two jobs, and as you can tell from the channel name, one of his jobs is in fire service. I have done the cash envelope system years ago and got off track with it due to a change in our circumstances when my husband had gotten laid off from a previous job, but now I'm trying to get back at it. And we are on a journey to not only become debt free, but to also gain some financial freedom and to teach our son how to better manage his finances along the way. So if this is the kind of video that you're into, and you are interested in seeing more, then I hope you will consider liking this video and subscribing. And with that, let's get into this video. And with this video, I'm not gonna be doing a typical cash stuffing. I guess I'm kind of working my way into this, trying to figure it out. Um, this is my very first video ever to put on the internet so I'm a little nervous but in this video I figured I would show you guys my son's binder so this is his binder that I got for him for him to use for his chore money and also for money that he gets at least twice a month that my husband and I will put into uh, certain categories within his binder so I have his binder here and I have some new envelopes fixed for him so I take I took all the money out that was in there and I'm gonna reorganize his envelopes and we'll put the money back into them and then there's two envelopes that we're going to add a little extra to out of the paycheck that we just got for our first paycheck in January. So first of all, let's get his envelopes in. These are his. So he has a tithing envelope. a spending envelope one for electronics one labeled as fun And then this is something that he really wanted. So I figured it would be pretty cool to put in his binder and it would make it a little more fun for him. But I got him a Spider-Man divider. He's a huge Spider-Man fan. So this is his little divider. Next he has savings. He has one for his CD account. He has a $10 savings challenge envelope. Let's see, put that in there. One for Christmas. One for birthdays. Family trips. One labeled NC for when we go to North Carolina. And the last one is a vehicle. So 
Put that in. Okay. And I kind of have his divided a little bit between um, these are things that we don't prioritize quite as much. Of course, tithing we do. But these we don't really. I just like to keep tithing first. These are more like his low priorities. And then everything behind his divider are the things that I guess we consider more of like his higher priorities. Um, we don't stuff each envelope every single paycheck. My husband and I have certain envelopes that we will put money into out of each paycheck and then how the rest of it gets stuffed is from the chore money that our son earns by doing chores every week so he gets five dollars per week if he gets his chores done and then he takes his chore money and he usually puts a dollar into his tithing envelope and then after that he has four dollars left over he has to decide for himself which envelopes he wants to stuff and while we do teach him that it is okay to put money into your lower priority envelopes things like you know just regular spending money um he wants to save up for electronics and things like that that's fine but we do teach him that it's important to prioritize having a savings because you don't want to get stuck in a situation where you've spent everything you've got and then you have nothing left and his CD account. And then the other big one is of course for his vehicle for when he gets older, old enough to drive and to be able to get a vehicle. So that's those envelopes. And yeah, so let's get the money. Here's the money. And we're going to be stuffing $137 into his binder. This is all money that he's earned over the years. And this is also for money that my husband and I put into certain envelopes for him. So I'm going to go ahead and get this money laid out. So, let's see. There's the ones. Yeah, was it's fives. If y'all can see it or not, there's one ten. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, this is harder than I thought it would be trying to get everything in, in frame. Okay. Anyway, we'll make it work. I'll figure it all out later. Okay, so for his first envelope for tithing, we are going to be putting in $13. So, I'm going to do a five and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, thirteen dollars into his tithing envelope. And for his spending envelope, he only had two dollars. So one, two. For his electronics envelope, he had 
three, three dollars. One, two, three. Yes. And then for fun, he had four dollars. So it's one, two, three, and four. Sorry, I opened it. And see, after this savings, he had eight dollars in his savings envelope. And I'm going to do that in all ones. So, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Okay. Let's go back into his savings. And for his CD account, that's the biggest envelope, I believe. So we're going to be putting. $61 in this so he had 53 in there and then from yesterday's check we added $8 to it so we'll be putting 61 total so that one we're gonna do let's see hmm a 10 um let's see these three fives And then the rest in ones. I believe that's 36 ones. So let's count that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So, yep, let's count it all. So, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, and 61. So all of this goes into his CD accounts. And of course, once his account reaches maturity we will be putting all of this into that account and we're not going to put anything into his ten dollar savings challenge right now for christmas we are going to put five five dollars in there let's do five ones one, two, three, four, five. Four, let's see. Hmm. For birthdays. Um. What did I have for birthdays? I don't remember what he had in there. Let me check my cheat sheet real quick. <laughs> okay, for birthdays, he had $9. So we're going to be putting that back in there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Back into his birthdays envelope.
Okay, and for family trip, he only had $2. One, two, three, And then next is his North Carolina envelope. He had six dollars in there. So we're gonna do six ones. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Back into North Carolina. And then last, his vehicle envelope. And he had $20 in here. And then from yesterday's check, we added four. So we're going to be putting 24 in now. So we're going to do one five. And then the rest in ones. So we should have 19 ones here. Let's check and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. That's it. So all of this is going into his vehicle envelope. And when he puts money in like, if he was to put money into his vehicle envelope, sometimes he might just do a dollar. Sometimes he might do two. It just depends. You know, just whichever category he picks to put some of his chore money into and how much he wants to put in at that time. That's We leave that completely up to him for him to make that decision. But to kind of make it a little more fun for him, I also made up some little... I guess savings challenge type cards for him. Um, so here is this one that I made for the vehicle envelope. So I just did one and it looks terrible, I know. So here's one I made where I just did the blocks with the alphabet and the numbers. So every paycheck, I usually just pick a number at random just whichever but as of right now I've just done the first four so I pick those amounts and then that's what we stuff in there out of the paycheck so by the time this is all done we will have put $351 in and even though I'm the one that's really picking the amount you know it just depends on how much the paycheck is I still let him color in the challenges. Um, so it's just something to kind of make it a little more fun and fun for him and fun for me because I enjoy doing savings challenges. It just, it helps me. It gives me a goal, not just to save money, but it's an actual goal. Like I want to be able to complete this and color in each square and then I know that by the time this is complete, that we have at least that amount of money in the envelope, even though technically he'll have more because he puts in some of his money every now and then. So there's that one. And here is one that I made for family trips. So this one is one that I made up of the anchor and each little section is worth 10 so by the time this is done, that will be $360 saved. And he only has $2 in here right now. This was $2 that he put in himself. And so we haven't reached our first $10 goal yet. But every time we reach a goal of $10, I'll let him color in a section. So I'm going to put that in there. And... Let's see, the next one is for birthdays. This one is my horribly drawn little gumball machine <laughs> for his birthday envelope. 
and by the time this is complete it's $225. Um, I did these two while he was out of town. He did his first dollar that went into the birthday envelope. So yeah this is one that we don't usually put into. We let him put the money in there and sometimes he only because he only gets five dollars a week so he doesn't always put in enough to be able to color in one of his little numbers but over time when it adds up and he puts in enough money to color in another four or another ten or whatever like we'll let him color those in so it just it's just something that makes it more fun for him and like I said, it makes it more fun for me because I love me some savings challenges. Those are my favorite things. They just, they help me to focus on accomplishing smaller goals. And I do better that way. Like, I don't do very well with just, oh, let's just keep sticking money into these envelopes. Like, I have to know what I'm saving for. And I like having small goals, small milestones to reach so that's just something that I enjoy doing and he really likes it and I hope that this is something that will benefit him that he will continue to stick with and that way he can learn how to manage money better than I ever did when I was his age and hopefully it'll stick with him as he grows older and I just don't want him to fall into some of the financial issues that we've had over the years you know I just feel like this is something that will better prepare him for his future and you know it helps him to learn to save for big things like getting his vehicle like his savings and his CD account um, of course we do put money into his savings account also this is just his savings in this binder we also have another envelope for him in one of my binders for his savings that he doesn't put money into that one that's just one that me and his daddy put money into or if he ever gets like large amounts of money for his birthday for Christmas for anything like that like he likes to he'll just tell me like just stick it just stick it in that envelope you know, he, he likes to save it. So he does like to save money. So that's good. Um, but yeah, anyway, so this is my son's binder. And I think the only thing I have left to do is I want to put his savings tracker sheets in here. Not each envelope has a tracker sheet, but there are certain envelopes I want to put in here. Like, I want to put a savings tracker sheet in with those envelopes. Um, also, I got this from a guy off of Etsy, if you are interested in these. I think he only had one of these, and I got that one. I know he has some others with superheroes on it. I just can't remember which ones he had, but if you are interested in checking out these dividers that he makes then I will link his Etsy shop below and I think that is it so yeah thank you for joining in and watching this video and I hope that you will like and subscribe and think that's it thanks for joining me bye